We've already got the number 10 bolt off. We're going to pull this coil out, put a good coil in. We'll screw that down later. Plug it back in. Start the engine, and now you can see we've got a good coil. If you can hear this on the video, the engine is now running smooth. Now the other neat thing I like about the Varus is you also have access to the internet if you have a wireless connection, which we do here. This is basically a laptop computer, and I'm on the Varus right now, but I can switch over to the Internet Explorer, where I've actually even got a screen up for all data. This is the all data electrical diagram for the Jeep Liberty. Scroll down here and you can see the coil circuit. Tells you the wires, dark green with orange, dark green with orange, dark green with orange, that's the power side. And on the negative side, the ground, you've got tan red, tan pink, tan orange. So right here from the car, you can access your diagram, you can access repair information, whatever you want, and fix the car. Now if I go back to the Varus, all of your controls are right up here. You can set your trigger. We're setting for trigger for tr trace number one, which is on. You see two and three are not highlighted because I disabled them. But you could actually trigger, if you had your crank sensor, your cam sensor, you could trigger off of those. This is not going to be a class on everything about the lab scope, but I'm going to show you how you can use a four channel lab scope to look up more than one thing. We've already explained the coil. But let's say we want to look at the cam signal at the same time. Well, we can do the same thing by looking at the electrical diagram. We know that the cam signal wire is the tan with yellow. You can access it down at the cam sensor, or it's easier to get to right here at the computer. We've got that plugged in. Now on the top of the lab scope, I'm going to put the cam signal on my blue trace. Go back to my lab scope and there's no blue trace. Remember we have to turn that on. So I'm going to select traces. Trace number three. Again, remember we got yellow, green. Trace number three is blue. It's undisplayed. I'm going to click check displayed and OK. And now you can see that we've got the blue trace which is showing our cam signal. Now if you want to change this to see more of that, you can go up here to your sweep. Change it from 10 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds. And now you can see the cam signal. One, two, and three. Just repeats itself. One, two, and three. And you can see it's synced up with the coil. There's a lot you can do with your lab scope, but you're only going to learn by using it. So get it out, hook it up to different cars, and learn how to use your lab scope.